Hey everyone, Dollistic here. Uh, today we are doing part two of Roasting My Customs. I kind of, like, okay, the last one made me cringe so hard, but I also enjoyed it quite a bit. And I don't think it performed very well, but I liked making it, so I'm making a part two. <laughs> and I guess it's kind of fun to go back and see, like, what I was doing in the early days of my doll journey. Because it's crazy bones. Let's see, I think last time we stopped on Espeon, is that right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because I feel like I mentioned this. Th what this, yeah. So, let's go to the next one. Okay, we're starting off strong today. We've got Cornelia, the Earth Guardian from Witch. Now, oh my god, one of my favorite episodes of the entire Witch series. They only had two seasons, which sucked. But at the end of season two, which was the series finale as well, the Guardians, like, merged with their elements and had these, like, crazy elemental forms, and it was amazing. And Cornelia was the easiest one for me to, like, translate to reality because obviously the rest of them would be super difficult. And I was like, oh, I have this... What is her name? The daughter of... Oh, what is her name? She's like the daughter of Pinocchio. What is her name? Oh, I can't remember. They did like an SDCC doll of her. It's She's an Ever After High girly. Anywho. And I thought she was such a good base to use for this because she already has the wood grain on her skin. And when Cornelia combines with her element, she gets like... Her body becomes like wood, like a tree. And then her hair becomes these like really long vines and her hair is blonde so the vines are like blonde and that's kind of what I went for here now I really like all of the sculpted detailing that I did on her I did all of these bark patches that are true to the show like they did have lighter pieces covering her like sensitive areas and then like other patches along her body so I did that as well I really like it the texturing is cool I like how much hair I gave her, and I really, like, did my best to make it stay like this using hairspray, <laughs> which if I was smart, I probably would have just used hair gel, but I didn't know that at the time. And yeah, I'm just super happy with her. The face is cute. I like her. She's solid. And fun fact, uh, you can see in the hashtags over here and in this comment right here, uh, the doll YouTuber Hexgen, the customizer, which I'm sure you know, he's one of the biggest doll people on the internet. He was doing a reaction video series at the time where you could submit your own custom dolls for him to react to. And I submitted this one and he actually reacted to it in the video. It was really cool. He said he liked it a lot. Uh, I think I remember him saying that the leaves were like not great, which they aren't. They're just yellow paper that I drew on because the leaves on her were yellow and I didn't know how to like deal with that. At the time, I was really trying to only use materials that I already had so I didn't have to buy anything. So, like, these patches are hot glue that I textured with the, like, hot glue nozzle and, of course, painted. I sculpted the roots here at the bottom, which I really kind of wish I had done a better job at integrating the feet into them because you can see the feet right here, but it's whatever. I like the detailing that I did, the paint job. I think it's decent. Oh, hello. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so we've got some close-ups. Like, I think it looks fine. This is one of the customs that I'm still pretty proud of. And thank you, Silver Siren. I did not know that. <laughs> Just kidding, obviously. Oh, I only did two. Okay, that's cool. I probably didn't do a close-up on the feet because I wasn't happy with them. All right, so we have Umbreon. I made her and Espeon twins because I just think that's cute. Again, with the yarn hair, not as bad this time. Uh, the mask is cute. The sword is kind of blah. I did that weird corset thing again with plastic. I don't know what that was. And then these, like, weird rings on the clothes this is just strange oh i used i'm pretty sure that's og cleo's shoes which don't don't hate me for painting them and using them i just thought they worked she's fine like the eyes are fun yeah oh sure yeah do a close-up yeah sure yeah why not i mean the mask is cute and the sword like the shape of the sword is cool i used a kopesh as my inspiration it's just weird. Like, why didn't I sculpt it or something? I, it probably actually would have looked worse if I sculpted it. Never mind. Oh, okay. So, not a doll, but a custom MLP. I was working at Goodwill at the time, I think. No, I think I had been fired by this point. Or not fired. It was let go. It was COVID. It was, it was COVID times. And I had been let go. But I had bought a really ratty 
Princess Celestia. Like, her hair was destroyed. She was stained all over. But I was like, oh, I can make a custom of this. And I'd been wanting to make a custom Trixie, who was the princess version. There's only, like, there's an alternate reality where Trixie was the princess. And I always loved the design. And so that's what I did here. She's so cute. I still have her. I love her so much. I do kind of want to go back and, like, root her with nylon instead of yarn. At the time, yarn was all I had. And I didn't want to buy nylon. Because, like, doll hair can get expensive. I mean, mind you, this is for a pony, so, like, it wouldn't have been that difficult. But, like, doll hair gets expensive fast. So I was using yarn when I could. She's really cute. Her cutie mark is done really well. I freehanded that, so it's a little janky, but honestly, as good as I could make it. And then the this is paper. Like, the crown and the necklace are paper, and then this is, like, a piece of clay. No, I think that's hot glue. And then it's just painted. Oh, her eyes are cute, too. Oh, I did a little ombre. Oh, look at me. Look at me. Okay. Wow, that's a really bad picture. These are all bad pictures. Oh! Black cat. Oh, she's one of my favorite Marvel characters. I mean, you can read it in the description there. But Black Cat is one of my favorite Marvel characters, specifically, like, one of my favorite Spider-Man characters. I love her so much. She's been human. She's been metahuman. Or they don't call them metahumans in Marvel. That's DC. Anyway, she's had powers. She's not had powers. I just love her so much. And she's always been, like, she's very smart and very cool. I love her design. I love a character that's just, like, black and white. I think that's always so fun. And her bright green eyes. I used a DC superhero girl as a base, which if you're a doll person, you can already tell that this was a DC superhero girl. Her eyes are a little far apart. What is that? And why do her eyebrows look like? I don't know. I don't know. The cat suit is fine. I think it's just the material I'm not super happy with. I don't think it's fitted great, but that could also be because I just maybe didn't take the time to judge it and make it look better. That's totally possible. The fur is cool. I do kind of wish I had sewn the fur into the um, the seams of the cat suit instead of just gluing it on because I did glue it on. Um, but that's cool. I like the hands. I tried to give her claws with, I don't know if it was little like triangles of plastic or maybe triangles of paper, but I did my damnedest. She's cute. I like her. Those nails are probably all popped off by now. Oh, hello. Close up. And see this like just raw edge choker and like this wild absolutely wild yeah her face is just kind of chunky too i don't like that Ugh, but i love her i love black cat i think i ruined a bat girl like a pair of bat girl boots for that so that's fun Ooh, okay i love this custom he's kind of janky but i love him he is a manticore so he's from the complimentary creatures collab Basically, you just had to make a monster, and the monster and the monster had to utilize complementary colors. So I went with yellow and purple. That, that's always been my favorite complementary color duo. I just think yellow and purple work really well together in a way that, like, red and green only work for Christmas. They don't work in anything else. And then, like, orange and blue I don't like together. So I went with yellow and purple. I love him. I used a BTS doll as the base. And if you watch my first video, you'll remember the method that I talked about for making wings. I used the same method here, but made them quite different in shape. These have held up a little bit better than the Incubus wings have, but I think that's just because the size is smaller. <laughs> and then he's so cool. I used yarn for his hair, but I just unraveled it and left it textured because I like that look. The, like, lion's mane. Um, the eyes are cool. I sculpted a whole scorpion tail for the back of him. That thing is heavy as hell. I used epoxy sculpt because it's what I had. In retrospect, I definitely should have used like air dry clay or something very light that wouldn't weigh him down so much because it is impossible to keep him standing. I love the body hair that I drew on him. That is so cool. The like the trail of hair coming up the abs and onto the chest because I this is not doll related. I love a hairy guy. So yeah, oh my god, I drew nipples on him too. Good for me. <laughs> and then I... Yeah, okay, then we get to the arms and legs, which are a little... Bleh. Also, I used a pastel technique for the whole body and the head. I don't remember... Where did I get it from? I think it was Delightful, where you spray the entire doll with MSC, and then you cover them in pastel, and then you just keep doing that layer after layer until they get a solid color. And that's what I did here with yellow. 
and it hel- it holds up way better than paint because paint will immediately chip at like the at the joints and stuff anywhere that it like rubs but it doesn't really do that with the pastel technique however the pastel technique is expensive and takes forever so you know it's dealer's choice on what you want to do there so anyway yeah for his arms and legs i used the same purple yarn and like cut it up i was trying to make flocking but it looks like crap here (laughs) Ah! yeah i made really bad flocking and mod podged it to his body it looks wild i know that it look I can see it. It looks wild. And then I tried to give him claws too, but they look significantly worse because they're different colors. <laughs> the black ones at least like hide how bad they look. Anyway, I like the wing shape. I like that I gave him the scorpion tail. I love the manticore just as a concept. So I enjoyed bringing this character to life. Oh, that's cute. Like his face up isn't bad. I didn't do anything too complicated. I really tried to do an actual lion eye. Like, I used the shape, and then I did a more human, like, pupil, but I wanted the shape of the lion eye. And then the eyebrows aren't bad. They're they're definitely not symmetrical. And I gave him, like, a sad look, which is interesting. Oh, there you can see the scorpion tail a little bit better. I love that I did all this shading work, and you can't even see it in the regular picture. Why didn't I do a close-up of the chest? Oh, God, the foot claws. Don't look at that. Okay, we'll just see it from here. Like, I did all these little itty-bitty marks to do this chest hair i think it looks so good i love when doll customizers give dolls chest hair or body hair just in general it looks so cool and i know the amount of work it takes oh oh, my next evolution i really tried to take dolls from different doll lines to make all of my evolutions to sort of give them some to give them like visual difference because i wanted them to be like different sizes different shapes i didn't want just like the monster high body or the ever after high body you know, I wanted different things. So I made Jolteon a boy, which is cool. I always got very male energy from Jolteon, so I went with a boy. He is a choice. He is a choice. I, oh my god, what base is this? It's a Marvel Rising character. Oh god, I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't remember off the top of my head. So I sculpted his mask. It looks crazy. I think I was using a Mardi Gras mask as inspiration, like for that starburst shape. I don't know why I did that, though. And it's like, it's sculpted out of clay. It's not... The other masks I've done are made out of either aluminum or plastic. And then I sculpted this one, but the ears are made out of either metal or plastic. I don't know. How interesting. I don't know. The chest piece looks crazy. I know that's plastic. And then the greaves look a little bit crazy. Uh, The cape is fine. I don't know what I could have done differently there because the shapes are so specific. (laughs) I used the boots that the doll originally came with. I just painted them. Those look fine. And then the pants are the same, like, black pleather material that I use for a lot of different things at this time. And I sculpted the sword. Like, this is completely sculpted. I mean, this is, like, plastic, I think. But the handle, the actual sword, that's all sculpted. That's so weird. I don't know. He's just bulky. Like, that's the thing. So much of this just looks unfinished and bulky. Yeah. Eh. Oh, I love that. I was never satisfied with him. I'm still not satisfied with him. Girl, what is this? Sure. Oh, I... Okay, I didn't mean to go to the next character. This is just balanced on his hand. Like, it is not rubber banded. He's not holding it. It is just balanced there perfectly. <laughs> and I'm sure it fell immediately after I took that shot. Oh, yeah, cover the face. Zatanna! Oh my god, one of my top DC characters of all time. Zatanna Zatara. I love her so much. Her custom is decent. I did a lot of new things for this doll that I was, at the time, proud of. Not so much now, but, like, they're good. I love her. I wanted her eyes to glow. Uh, when she uses her powers, They her eyes glow. And I wanted that to be the effect for her eyes, so that's what I went with. And I did this, like, stylized no line on the outer part. I like. Her face is fine. The outfit is cute. Like, I did fine with the leotard i guess is what's underneath here i don't know if i made just like a panty or if it's a leotard i don't know and then the vest is cute this is all cute i used a pair of ever after high stockings because it's an ever after high doll base obviously these shoes are crazy i know you can't super see it right now but they are made out of hot glue they look wild i don't think i did a close-up of them thank goodness um but she's cute and then i made her hat i like her hat let's see did we okay yes i get terrible pictures but like, this is cool. I like what I did with the eyes. The eyebrows look good for once. Give me my eyebrows. 
Okay, and then this little flower, I made that by hand from a tutorial. Thank you, YouTube. That's cute. Like, the hat is fine. I don't know why there's such a bad edge up here, though. It's made out of a layer of foam, and then I think this is all paper, and then, like, a ribbon. Like, see, this is cute. This is cute. This jacket is insane. It looks so bad. Oh, but it's cute. I even made a little wand, probably out of a, um, what are they called? A skewer? A kebab skewer? Am I saying that weird? Skewer? Skewer. Let's move on. Ooh, Alice collab. Ah, ha, ha, Glaceon. I both hate and love her. Mostly because, like, there's some things on her that I really like. I like the scepter that I made. You can see the snowflake. This snowflake is pure hot glue. That is all hot glue. And then a kebab skewer again. I made her these arm warmers. Although only one arm has it because she's wearing a shield on this arm. The sculpting on the headpiece is really cool. I like this a lot. It is completely epoxy sculpt, so it's very heavy. But it's super cool. Um, I like the face up I gave her, but there's not really a lot of definition to it. And then her hair is just blah. She's got the plastic body armor piece again I don't like. This skirt is atrocious. And then whatever's happening down here. And then the shield is kind of cool. Like, that's a piece of foam that I rounded out. And it's cute. Do we have close-ups? Uh, okay. So, yeah, like, the face, I don't hate it. I actually like the direction that I went in. It's just, it's very not finished and not polished. But it's cute. I like it. And, yeah, like, the sculpting on this is decent. It's not, I mean, it's bad, but it's not the worst it could have been. Why is someone that's verified commenting on my posts? Who are you? Okay, I, I made her little ice skates out of, I'm gonna assume Abby's shoes because they look like Abby's shoes. Probably the Abby that this is. Um, okay. Like, see, I like that a lot. It's done pretty well. Although I was dumb and I made it for her head without the hair. Like, I, before I rerouted her, that's when I made this. And I was like, why, why, why did I do that? I don't know. She's pretty though. I need to go back and see if those shoes are, like, what those shoes are from. Because she's one of the customs that I will probably take apart and, like, repurpose for. And, like, repurpose her stuff for other things. I don't know. Oh! My mercenary cheerleader queen. I don't know about y'all. I love MPGIS. She is my... Brittany is one of my favorite characters. She actually might be my favorite character. I love MPGIS. I go back and rewatch it, like, once a year. <laughs> it's so good and my favorite arc is her as the mercenary cheerleader now this outfit is a little janky but I did my best like my absolute best to make her look good I tried to match the face that that specific Barbie had and then the hair I had to reroute this Barbie I felt so bad because she had great hair but then I immediately rerouted her. And she was already blonde, but Brittany has, like, platinum blonde. And I was like, well, I have to reroute. And then handmade this outfit. It's rough. To put it nicely, it is rough. But it's fun. I gave her a made-to-move body. Love that. I made a baseball bat for her out of a, you guessed it, kebab skewer. And then it painted the shoes. Oh, I loved this photo shoot. The, like, split that I put her in. It was so stupid. It looks like she just has a giant wand. Oh, my gosh. And honestly, this probably isn't even the face that Brittany has. I have no idea. I don't remember. But, like, Millie, ugh, her hair. I did a decent job with her hair. Not great. Because also, I, if I remember correctly, the actual doll that they made Brittany out of is a, like, super expensive cheerleading Barbie. And I was like, oh, I'm not paying that much money for her. I will put her together some other way. <laughs> oh, I love him. I really wanted the creators of MPGIS to notice that I did her, but I'm sure they saw fan art all the damn time, and I just flew under the radar. Ooh, another evolution. I don't know how many this is, but we are on to Flareon. Um, she is culturally problematic, probably, I, and if she is, I'm so sorry. I was not thinking about that at the time. I'm more educated now. Um, but yeah, we're, we'll just quickly go over her. So, I gave her this whip, my idea was that she was from the desert and that it was her, uh, because all of my evolutions were like guardians and her job was to protect the desert because fun fact, uh, the desert environment is just as important as certain other environments for our planet. So, and yeah, I, I used the wrap because I know that 
in desert climates, they use that to protect their, you know, their body from the sand and the sun. And she is red because Flareon is red. Um, I made her ears out of probably plastic. They're cute. Yeah. And then I used the pastel body method again for her. The shoes are insane. I used a DC Superhero Girls whip. I hate that I ruined both a Monster High accessory and a DC Superhero Girls accessory for her. But, oh, okay. Her face is fine. Oh, you can see that I changed her body after I rooted her. Stop. Okay, and I think this is going to be our last doll of this video. I will probably end up doing more parts to this. I'm going to be so honest. I'm enjoying it. Um, So we have Miss Marvel in her Warbird co Warbird costume. Why was that so hard for me to get out? I used a Captain Marvel doll from the Captain Marvel movie. It was so weird that they, they had like Playline dolls released for that movie, but I loved it. I have I have two of them. I have her as Veers and I have her as Captain Marvel. So anyway, I took one of those and used her to turn her into Warbird Miss Marvel because I think she is so cool. That's one of my favorite Miss Marvel costumes. Or before she became Captain Marvel, she was Miss Marvel and I enjoyed the Miss Marvel version of her. I used that same black pleather to make those boots, to make the arm covers. The arm covers are cute. Like they're, they're working. The uh, boots are fine, but I don't know if I did close-ups, but there's like no bottoms to them. So it just is like a sock. And then I painted on the bodysuit because I didn't want to sew it. And then this little like red piece as her tie around. I think this was from something else and it got immediately removed. That is so funny. And I used the mask that she already had to make this mask. I think it looked kind of bulky and bad. And I did nothing to her hair. She probably has Polly. So I don't know if I could have done much, but like, interesting. Oh, skip that. I don't know. Like, it just looks, it looks really bulky. I, the painted on bodysuit actually looks fine. Like, I think that looks fine. I don't know. It, oh, yeah. You can see here that it just is a sock. But honestly, you know what? I kind of stand by that. I think it looks fine. Yeah. I think that's... Yeah. Okay. And that is where we are going to end it today. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I hope this is enjoyable. Like, I think it's fun. I think it's fun going through our past and, like, confronting... How not great our art was at the time. <laughs> but yeah, let me know down below what you thought. Uh, and shout out to Maya13Pink. Love you, girl. You were an early subscriber. Thank you for commenting on part one of this. I guess it's going to be a series now because honestly, I'm enjoying it. So shout out to you, girl. And yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube things or do none of them. Just happy you're interacting with my content whatsoever. But if you do, it helps out my channel and I will be in love with you and we can go back and look at our early art together and cringe because you should be. Look, if you're not cringing at your old stuff, you're not growing. All right. And I try to keep that in mind. <laughs> I put out new videos every Monday and Friday for the most part. So I'll see you in the next one. I hope you all have a great day. Bye.